Well, in less than two months, Bibb County students will head back to school. Right now, though, the district is celebrating the class of 2020. Bibb schools are moving forward with their virtual graduation plans. Our morning reporter Pepper Baker is joining us live from Bibb County with more on how it will all work. Good morning, Pepper. Good morning, Aaron. Yes, we are getting close to the start of the school year, but Bibb County is making sure their class of 2020 still has a graduation. Now it will be a pre-recorded ceremony held here at the Professional Learning Center off of Riverside Drive. Everyone was just looking forward to graduating like a normal graduation because everybody else got the opportunity to do it. Howard High School senior Alyssa Young understands why she's having a virtual graduation because of COVID-19, but she wonders why it wasn't planned earlier. Before the cases spiked, because I know other counties, they had their graduation. and But of course, it was still limits, but it was, we can still, they can still have three or four tickets, people to actually come sit there and watch their graduate. Bibb Schools Assistant Superintendent Jamie Cassidy says they postponed the original May date, thinking COVID-19 would be over by July and they could continue with in-person plans. There was no way of us knowing or being able to anticipate this surge that occurred. Um, that's happened within the past three weeks, and that's very unfortunate. But um, so what I would tell her is that um, it was our intent to have a face to face. That's why we moved it back so late. They will hold recorded ceremonies starting July 22nd through the 24th. Each school will have a time slot in the morning for their graduates at the Professional Learning Center. They will remain in their cars. Um, we will get five, 10 students out at a time. Um, they will go into the PLC um, with their cap and gown on. They will walk down, come across, receive their diploma, come across the stage, have a picture taken, and then they'll exit out uh, and then leave the premises. The principal of each school, the name announcer, and a few district employees will be inside to award the graduates. To limit the number of people in the building, parents won't be allowed inside. Safety is our number one priority, um, so that's why we have put these measures in place um, for the safety of the students, the staff, as well as the community. They're asking graduates to keep their mask on up until the time it's time for them to take their photo. Now, names will be called in alphabetical order, and Cassidy says that graduates can reach out to their principals for a more specific time on when their name will be called. Reporting live in Macon, Pepper Baker, 13 WMAZ News. Definitely will look a little bit different. Thank you, Pepper.